Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Bull Direct Reviews. My name is Bull, and we are continuing on with my uh, reviews of the G.I. Joe Classified line, and the, well, this is the first of my reviews for the G.I. Joe Classified line, and my reviews of the 6-inch, one twelve scale figures I'll be picking up as we go along. So, this figure here is the first of the G.I. Joe Classified series figures. Uh, the series, the, 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 the boxes have a little number so you can keep track of them. Um, and so this is the zero one figure, Roadblock. Uh, you got some nice artwork on the side. You got this cool artwork on the back with a bunch of the Joes and some vehicles and stuff like that. My one regret with the going to the six inch line with them, with them doing this is while I really like the figures and the larger scale lets them do a lot more detail and I think they're, they'll be a lot more interesting and more fun to customize down the line. Um, my one big regret is that I love vehicles. Uh, tanks, planes, helicopters, I, I love the G.I. Joe vehicles. And uh, unfortunately with the six inch scale it means we probably won't see too, too terribly many vehicles. They've only done a handful of vehicles for the Black Series line, and those tend to be pretty expensive and few and far between. And unfortunately, the G.I. Joe line is sadly not nearly as popular as the Star Wars is overall, so I don't know how much demand there would end up being. And Well, I know there is some demand for vehicles. I've seen it already online. However, I don't know if there's enough of a demand, enough of a fan base to justify doing the larger scale vehicles, uh, especially if in any sort of way that would be semi-affordable. So one of the things I kind of like is, I, I don't really know what all these necessarily are f represent, but each of the figures has these little symbols on them that kind of denote the character. Uh, like I said, I'm not entirely sure what they stand for. They don't really serve a purpose, but they're kind of cool. So Roadblock, yes, Mervyn Hinton. Roadblock is a great character. Uh, he's a heavy gunner. Uh, the, original the original character came with a uh, uh, was an M2 uh, machine gun, I think. Something like that. This new figure comes with uh, this rifle thing. I don't know. I kind of think it looks like a real gun. Um, I know they're kind of going a little more sci-fi with the current line. Um, the, the, the figures are a little more, um, like I said, they're a little more sci-fi, a little more futuristic. Uh, you can see that a lot of the figures have, like, these, these, like, little armor plating and knee pads, and some of them will have, like, little shorter shoulder pads and stuff. Uh, it kind of gives them a sort of a Fortnite feel, which some people complain about. I don't mind. I think that's a cool, cool design choice to go with. And, uh... Overall, I really like the figure. I think it's it's pretty sharp. Uh, like I said, I don't mind the... Uh, got this little... There we go. little clip that can slide into there. I don't actually mind the uh, this railgun thing looking. Like I said, I think it's kind of cool looking. Although I do want to get a... Uh, I, I would like to get an actual heavy like machine gun, minigun, something along those lines for him. I do have kicking around. This is actually this is actually off of an old uh, GI Joe vehicle, uh, the Night Attack Chopper from the early 2000s. It was a little vehicle, you, little uh, machine gun you mounted with this little peg into the side. Uh, the vehicles used to have like the sound attack feature that these pegs used. They were kind of goofy. He can kind of hold this, but it ends up actually being a little small for him, despite being a Vehicle-mounted weapon for the old Joes. Um, it's still a little bit on the smaller side. So, there's a few few options I need to look into, but I'm leery of spending, like, you know, 20 bucks or whatever it is for a figure just to try to get their weapon. So, for the time being, this works. Anyways, uh, real quick on Broadblock. Like I said, he's got all the articulation the, uh, the Stanley figure that I reviewed had. Um... He's really sharp. He's got this, his, his, theoretically, this vest is removable, although you would need to cut it. I've seen some folks that have actually done a cut along the seams here, and it looks really good making it, turning it into just an open vest. 
Um, he's a really sharp figure. He's got this cool tattoo on his arm, kind of a tiger lion looking thing. I think it's a lion. Uh, he's got a knife that goes in there. Um, just nice. I really like the touches with the gloves. And like I said, I do like the gold, uh, the gold uh, shin guards and knee guard that he's got going on here. Um, my only complaint with the figure is I don't particularly care for the head. I just, I don't know. I don't, the beard doesn't quite look right to me. Uh, although I have found that if I do, I have a Luke Cage figure that I will eventually review. And I found that if I do a head swap with him, Luke Cage with the goatee looks a lot more like a classic roadblock. roadblock. And this guy's head with the, uh, the bald head with the, with the beard, he actually kind of looks like, uh, Mac from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So swapping heads, it gives me a, uh, a better, what I like is a better roadblock, and it gives me a, uh, Agent Mac figure, which I kind of like. Now I just need to track down a, a Coulson figure. They did do a set of Col uh, with Agent Coulson, but, uh, he's a little pricey. So... It's a good figure. Uh, my only complaint with it, well, my only other complaint is, and this is something I've already talked to Hasbro about and they're going to fix, was that, as you can see, he came with two left feet. So, at some point, I'm going to be getting a replacement. Uh, so, in the meantime, I've got a roadblock who can't dance because <laughs> he's got two left feet. And that's a terrible pun for you today. So, all right. Uh, that's a quickie review of Roadblock. Like I said, I actually really dig the figure. Overall, uh, doing a little head swap, I think it'll be a much better, better figure for me. I will like him a lot more. Um, although it also means I need to get another uh, Luke Cage figure, because I don't want to lose a Luke Cage. Because uh, I do like him. So, um, yeah, great figure. Uh, I'd mess around with, with giving him his weapon, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so, yeah. That's it. So, uh... Yeah, we'll be back next time uh, with uh, number two, which I believe is Snake Eyes, maybe? Or Duke? We'll, we'll see. Tune in next time for my next review, and until then, have a good one.